Hello everyone, it's the Gaming Wife and welcome to a brand new Let's Play series for the channel. Today we're going to start playing Traveler's Rest. So Traveler's Rest is a simulation game where you play as a tavern keeper. So you have yourself a tavern that's very basic and then it's your job to basically make it prosper through reputation and making it decorative and then increasing your profits through the different items that you create, craft, and brew. So, sounds like a lot of fun, and it's been highly recommended, so I thought let's give it a shot. So let's get started. We're gonna start a new game. Um, not really feeling the hair there. That's kind of okay. Sure, we'll have a little snarky mouth maybe. Yeah, why not? Okay. Hair. Oh, I kind of like that. There we go. We can't change the color of the bow? Okay, nope, that's fine. Uh, let's see. Kind of like the look of that. Ooh, I like that. Perfect. And then for our trousers. Um, that's a little too purple. Um, I'm thinking just the basic trousers would be nice. And perhaps have them be brown. No, can't be brown. Ah, oh, we can make them red. That's fine. And the shoes. Sure. That works. Okay, there's our character. Let's get started. Do we want to activate the tutorial? No, I've actually played uh, about 20 minutes or so, so I have the general idea of how the game mechanic works. So, let's just get right into it. This is an early access game, so there will be a bugs and updates. In fact, there is an upcoming update here very shortly in the next couple weeks, so that sounds really fun too. All right, let's go ahead and get our thing going. I thought I said no to the tutorial. All right, I must not have. There we go. Okay, let's place this right in, whoops, right in front of the fireplace. They can get nice and cozy. place it right there in the middle and is there an option for the tutorial no it was just at that time oh that's a pity okay let's open up alrighty so we have a quest here we need to serve six customers and if we do that we'll receive ourselves a nice little table two chairs and some more candles all right and now we just wait for our first few customers and look at that we didn't have to wait very long and a bowl of gruel for you sir and for you too gentlemen And one more. So the table will be able to seat six. And here's our sixth one here. Lovely. Close up so you can place down your new items. So we'll do O and do last call. And we'll let these six customers finish up what they're doing. I can whack some unruly customers with my broom. Look at that, we got some reputation. And that fills up right here. We need a thousand for the first level. All right. Let's go ahead and add this. Oh, we're going to rotate it, make it same direction as that one. Here we go. Okay. And let's place a nice candle there. Move this one over here. 
Oops. And let's place one right here up top. There we go. All right, let's open up again. It is 8.25 in the morning. There you go. Here's your morning gruel. We need to serve eight. Look at that. They're all coming in at the same time. That's lovely. All right, so after serving eight bowls of gruel, we now have 20 porridge and two grog. Lovely. So let's go ahead and load this up here. And we'll do this one. Yep, we'll take care of the that in just a second. And let's load up our porridge in there. There we go. And let's clean up this dirty table. There we go. We pride ourselves on cleanliness here at the Cozy Tavern. That's one thing that we weren't able to do that I was surprised about. You weren't able to uh, name your tavern. At least not that I saw here. And it could be that it's just the beginning. And the further along you go in, you'll have that opportunity. But that's a missed opportunity if that's a mechanic that's not already established in the game. Alright, so we're going to put on tavern vision here. Just so that we can keep an eye on any spills on the floor and any dirty tables. We have a beer. There you go, sir. Ah, see? There we go. Yep. Already ahead of there. And there you go. Okay. Let's get you a beer. And it's a little bit finicky. There we go. Yeah, yeah. I'm working on getting it cleaned. Okay, we got ourselves a new mat. There you go, and let's quickly clean this table. Yo, this tavern is a barn. Is not a barn. Yeah, it gets cleaned really fast, and you have to make sure that you have your cursor on the mop in order to clean up. There we go. We do have the opportunity to hire some staff later on, but we're we're poor. We will not be able to do that quite yet. So I would like to stay open till about maybe three o'clock. That'll give us the opportunity to make some coin. It is eleven thirty, roughly. There we go. It is now. And some more beer. There you go. Quickly clean. And we need three beers. All right. It's nice when they line up like that because you could just do this. Ooh, we got ourselves a copper axe. Very good. Let's clean up. Here's some porridge for you. Clean up. Another quick porridge. And cleaning up. So the cleaner we keep the place, the higher our reputation, the more coin we make. And we are currently at 1220. Let's load up the fireplace with some firewood. There we go. Porridge for you. 
clean this up. There we go. All right, so we got two full tables here. One thing I would definitely like to do is order another table if possible. That will allow us to entertain more patrons. I'm going to do this. There we go. Thank you. Come again. And I shall get you some beer. There you go. What would you like? A bowl of porridge. And another bowl of porridge. Plus a table needs to be cleaned. Ooh, these people are sure liking their porridges. Okay, and I'll go quickly do this one. And let's grab that beer for this gentleman. There you go. And let's clean up this table. Yep. They start complaining really fast. You definitely have to be on it. There you go. All right, so it's two o'clock. Last call. All right, and I shall sting you right here in case these tables get dirty. Thank you, sirs. Have a good day, everyone. I've reached a new reputation. The brewing and cooking tech trees have been open, but I cannot do anything with them yet. So let's go ahead and clean up. We'll place down our mat here. It's like everybody decided to just throw all their trash on the floor on their way out. My goodness. Okay. So let's place this right there. Very good. And let's go ahead and put in some orders. I would like furniture. Uh, let's see. A table costs 60. I don't have enough for that, but I do have enough for another small one. How about some chairs? Oof. I don't have enough. Okay. So instead of that, let's be proactive and get going on some farming. So I want to purchase three of these. And then let's do cobweb. That's funny. Uh, sure, corn. Hmm, maybe not corn yet. Honey would allow us to do mead. Oh, let's see. Oh, the bushes and plants look so nice. Let's see, for farming, we've got barley. Let's do some wheat and rye. Okay. We cannot do any of this yet. So let's go ahead and put that order in for that. Whoops. All right. Now we have ourselves an axe. What do we have for our quest line right now? Co chop down five trees that will grant us the sawmill and the scythe. All right. So let's do that. Let's chop down five trees. All right, we now have the sawmill and the scythe. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that going. And for that, we're going to need to create some space. And let's go ahead and get this area scythed and ready to go. I'm also going to be doing a little bit of a farm right here in this little corner. So I want to make sure I get all of this out of the way. 
We don't get anything for scything the grass. Not yet, anyways. I don't know if you do in the future, but for the first 20 minutes that I played, you didn't. All right. So now, right there. And we can make ourselves some planks. Okay, so I've got 20 going. And if we look at our quest line, it wants us to make 20. And for doing that, we will get the copper pick. And I'm actually going to be a little bit proactive and chop down a few more. I'm going to probably do about another five trees. Just so that we have a nice stockpile of wood going. All right, that was my last tree. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and grab all the wood. It automatically goes into your inventory and gravitates towards you, which is nice. All right, is this all done? Sure is. We got the pick. So, new quest. It would like us to mine four metal seams. And with that, we'll get the smelter, the anvil, and a stump with an axe. All right, so. We'll do iron here. Very good. And then there should be copper right there. Okay. And it does seem like this is kind of renewable. Now this is coal, which is really nice. Ooh, our order has been delivered. Very good. That was a nice big note of coal. All right. So the smelter, anvil, and the stump. You have obtained the smelter and anvil. When you build the smelter, a new working area dedicated to metals will be created. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our workshop area. You know what? Let's do perhaps the farming area here next to the well. And then we'll make our workshop area right next to the sawmill. I think that's a better, a better fit. So we got our smelter. Ah, oh, really? Hmm. Okay, I guess we're gonna go... We're gonna have to do it further up here than I would have liked. So, let's get out of decorating mode. Scythe all this. And probably all the way over here as well. Okay, so let's go back in, and now, oh, what a bother, it is still too big, hmm, let's see here. Chop down this axe. Or chop down the tree, sorry. Alright. Now let's see if we can place it. There we go. Okay. Whoops, wrong one. What can we make? We need iron, but we need... We need to add our fuel. So let's add in this forestry waste. Let's do 10. And now let's smelt up our iron bar. And we need more fuel. Holy cow, let's just throw all this in there then. There we go. And what does our quest want us to do? It wants us to make some nails. Let's also place down our anvil. 
Oh, thank goodness that's small. Oh, but it has to be in the area of the smelter. I suppose that makes sense. And this... We'll put right there. And what can we do with this? Make firewood. Sounds correct. Let's make 15 more. All right. It is currently 8 45. Grab our seeds. Whoops. Very good. And let's go ahead and collect some more materials. Here we go. I spy some copper here. We're going to get a nice little jump start on collecting resources. Oh, coal's very nice. Use that for fuel. For now, we're just using the wood scraps that we get from chopping down the trees. There we go. That's a nice mount. And let's go ahead and chop down a couple trees. Because there is one thing that I did notice was in the crafting, the sawmill, and that was a firewood stockpile. It required 30 wood. So I figured let's go ahead and get that going. I don't know if that's just a decorative piece or if it has any function, but I thought, you know, let's go ahead and give it a try and check it out. Oh, look at all the copper over there. Let's do that next. These are some big old copper notes. Lots of good copper here. All right, it's a little after 10. Once midnight hits, it's going to kind of alert us that we need to finish up what we're doing before we pass out. And I don't know if passing out is one or two. I have not found out, nor do I want to. All right. Thank you. Grab up all these little goodies. Now, if we could find an iron node, that would be... Ah, there we go. Oh, three of them. Perfect. We're going to finish up over here. We'll mine all this iron, get it smelting, and hopefully we'll have enough time to hammer out some nails on the anvil as well. Everybody's rushing home. It's almost 11. All right. Rush, rush, rush. I cannot say hi to them. They're too busy. They're too focused. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and add some more fuel. There we go. Got ten iron bars. Now, for iron nails, I've got enough, but I also need fuel for this. Okay. Ten iron, iron nails. And what else can we make? Hinges? Ooh, candelabra and candle holder. Very nice. And let's look at our ten, ten nails and we'll get the workbench. All right. Got some firewood. And I can make a firewood stockpile, which stocks my firewood. Thank you. Shall do that. Let's go ahead and make a couple more wooden planks. 20. That'll do. And let's go ahead and just mine what we got right over here. I can keep an eye on the timer for our nails up there, and they're just now done. There we go. Some basic stone. That'll definitely come in handy. So we got 5 out of 10 nails. Oh, that one's not ready yet. Okay. So let's go ahead and chop down this tree. And it is 5 to midnight. And it looks like it's getting late. Alright. My nails are done. A workbench. Tools included. So... Let's take a look at the workbench. Okay, so it does need to be in the same area here. Let's put it right up there. Whoops. 
And our newest quest, more tables. Craft a small table using the workbench. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get that going really quickly. Small bench. Table requires poles. Well, you know what? Let's get going on the small bench. I can only make one. Let's see if we can't get some more nails going. I'm going to need more fuel. Okay. There we go. And... Okay. It is almost one o'clock. Let's get inside. Home sweet home. And sleep. So we have to sleep in order to save. So that's why I was kind of rushing. New save. Thank you. Uh, let's make our bed. I don't know if that really does anything or not, but start the day off right. Uh, we do not have access to this yet or to the main crafting room. We're going to stock up for the day. So I'm going to add a few more firewood if I can. There we go. And then... Let's go and check for our goodies here. I need to do some pulls and some more planks. Okay, let's go ahead and get more copper going. We don't have enough fuel. Oh boy. Okay, so that's all our copper and iron. I want to get more nails and it needs more fuel. There's the rest of our fuel. All that work last night, done. Now we have a couple small benches, which is nice. Uh, let's see here. For the tables, we need planks and poles. We're gonna need a lot of planks and poles. So we'll have that kind of going while we're working in the tavern. I'm gonna be out here, I think, until about 10 o'clock. See if we can't find ourselves some copper and some coal. I haven't really found a use for the copper quite yet. It seems more like coal is the primary one. And there we have it, some more right here. These look like they're renewable, which is nice. So as long as we know where they spawn, we can hit them up first thing in the morning and in the evening so that we have a constant supply of fuel for our stuff. Okay. Let's go down here. That's for stone. Aha! Okay, so we got coal, we got iron. Anything else over here? Not that I'm seeing. I did notice this copper. A little after eight, so we got just a couple more hours that we're gonna stay out. All right. And I did notice a little path down here. What do we got down here? Oh my. What is this? Is this coal or iron? Iron. Okay. Well, I don't need iron right now. But it is right here, readily available, so I won't say no. Are these berry bushes by chance? No. Or if they are, I cannot pluck them. Turkeys! Forestry waste. Okay, well, I'll take some branches. Oh! <gasps> Come here! Oh, what did I get? Oh, turkey. Can I make some turkey legs? Nothing better than turkey legs and a beer. Will I be able to fish? I wonder. It's getting close to opening time. What do we got down here? Looks like a fishing pier. We're doing a little bit exploring right now. Can I read the sign? Nope. 
Oh. Now, what is all this? I wonder if this is something that we'll be able to utilize in the future. Look over there. This definitely looks like something we might be utilizing in the future. Hi. Hello, neighbor. You must be the new owner of the nearby tavern. You've done a magnificent job, by the way. That place was practically in ruins before you arrived. Well, thank you, Buzz. Pleasure to meet you. Oh my, where are my manners? I'm Buzz. Me and my family welcome you to our humble farm. Your family? That's right. A true blessing from the gods. They are inside right now. Helping me unpack things. Do you need any help? That's very kind of you, but I wouldn't want to bother you with this. Don't worry about us. We'll be done in no time. Maybe when I'm done, I'll pay a visit to your place. I'd love to try a chilled mug of your best beer. Ha <laughs> ha. Of course, come whenever you want. You got it, neighbor. I'm sure once we're settled in, we'll become very good friends. Well, it's time to get back to work. Thank you very much for your visit. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Buzz. Ooh. I'm going to harvest your apples if you don't mind. Perhaps I'll make some uh, fruit wine or a fruity beer. It is 11 o'clock. I am an hour past when I wanted to... Uh... Oh, look at that, the little carrot. An hour past when I wanted to open up. So let's head back to the tavern. We got stuffs to do. But that's cool. We got to meet our new neighbor. Okay. Well, it looks like he's got his work cut out for him. I wonder if he'll be able to guide us when it comes to farming. Oh my. We're going to be opening up very late. Although I guess for a tavern, 11 o'clock noon would be pretty pretty common. A more traditional time. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. Okay, we got those going. And there we go. Alright, let's make ourselves... Oh. For lonely, for lonely people. You know what? We'll do one. Alright, can I smelt anything while we're in there? Let's do a couple more bars. Not enough fuel. Well, you know what? Let's fuel up. And do some more nails. And fuel. The rest of my fuel there. There we go. And then can I put down a couple planks? There we go. So, let's get started, shall we? Uh, let's place down... Let's see, what can we place down? A bench. Well, I can't really do very much with the bench right now, so... Open her up. 1210, alright. Now, how much do we have? Six bowls of porridge. Okay. Six bowls of porridge. So, it's gonna be a lot of gruel, I think, today. Welcome, everyone. Our finest porridge. And already making a mess. There we go. Oh, they're all coming in in waves. And let's get you a beer. I'm actually going to be pro proactive and... There we go. For another one. I'll just have, like... Five on hand right now. That way I can easily I could easily give it to people. There we go. Keep it nice and clean. That's our motto. The cozy clean tavern. Great place for a quick rest stop. Thank you. I try my best. So I'd like to stay open till about let's say nine o'clock. Here you go. There we go. Clean, clean, clean. Oh, come on. That should have counted. I let off on the trigger just at the last moment. And let's keep this table clean. There you go. Everyone looks to be very happy. Good spirits. What a lovely clean tavern. Thank you. Don't forget to leave your Yelp review. Fill your life with friends and your mug with beer. Amen to that. Personally, I don't drink beer. Or wine. I don't drink at all. 
Not because I have something against it, just because I prefer tea. <laughs> I'm boring. I like tea and coffee. But that's about it. Tea and coffee. Thank you. Come again. And you know what? Let's go ahead and pull ourselves another few beers. Oh, the keg is now empty. So, now that the keg is empty, we're going to need to remove that. Thankfully, everyone's been in good spirits. No troublemakers. There we go. And I'm coming with your beer, sir. There you go. Clean your table here. Let me get you your gruel. There we go. All right. Now, let's take a look at this one. Okay. So we got just the one left. Uh-oh. We'll have none of that. Calm down, sir. Oh, nope. Out you go. Get out of here. We don't have any of that here. No, no, we don't tolerate that. Some people. There we go. Thank you. Come again. Let's go ahead and clean up the mess he made. Hello. Welcome to the cozy cavern. There you go. Ooh, my candles are dwindling down. Thank you. Come again. We'd appreciate a five-star reading. Don't forget to mention our cleanliness. The world needs more places like this. Aw, thank you. There you go. And let's clean this up. Hello. Welcome. Here you go. Oh, never mind. Uh-oh. Calm down. Calm down. Oh, no. Out of here. Get out of here. Alright. Sorry about the wait. There you go. Uh oh Okay, I'll pipe down. Thank you. So that's kind of what happens if you let the place get messy. Which is why I've been trying to be very good about keeping it clean. There you go. Now let's go ahead and clean this up. And then let's go over here. And then really quickly down here. Alright, let's get this gentleman their gruel. I'm gonna pour just a couple more. There we go. There. Spick and span. Oh, look at that. Um. Oh, I was just about to say, should we light the fire? We are going to light the fire. Ooh, now it's really cozy in here. Oh, we just need some nice rugs, some nice decorations, perhaps an animal or two. I know that there's cats in the game. And I think the latest episode, or not episode, but um, the latest uh, update will be bringing in, I think, dogs. Get out of here! There you go. What time is it? Oh, about closing time. Okay. Last call, everyone. Am I supposed to take me shoes off? <laughs> That's right. The floors are so clean you can lick them. But I recommend not. 
Thank you, everyone. Have a good day. Come again soon. Oh, look at that. The place actually wasn't that bad. All right. So, we made off with a pretty good amount of coin there. Let's go ahead and craft ourselves some more items. Including a new table. All right. Yes. And we're going to need some more wooden planks to do the seating. Not enough fuel. Well, we're going to be working on that. So, can we get some more planks going? We sure can. There we go. Let's start off chopping some wood. And let me take a look and see what we've got for wood right now. 16. Okay. Let's perhaps make 10 of that into firewood for fuel. Okay. And let's chop down a fair bit more trees. You know what? We have some sprouts. Can I not grab the whole stack? Oh, there we go. So let's do a bit of re tree regrowth here. Whoops. There we go. We want to be sustainable. There. Okay. And we're going to stay out for a few hours. I'm going to chop down probably these trees right here, this little grouping. And then we're going to look for some more coal. It looks like my table is just about done. And this last one right here. All right. Let's grab all the goodies. Come on. We can throw the scraps in. All right, what do we got? Four paper coasters. Okay, I can now unlock the crafting room. Ooh. Okay. All right, now let's go ahead and get... So I got the small table, I need a couple benches. Oh, I'd like one more. I need more planks, okay. Let's put down a few more planks. There. That'll do. And can I smelt down some more iron? Sure can. Let's top off the fuel. And we're good, I think, on that. So it wants us to take a look at the crafting room. But before we do that, let's go and grab ourselves some coal if we can. Oh, no, we can't. All right. Well... Let's go inside then. Now we did get a couple of goodies, so let's go ahead and place what we've got. We got this lovely table and a bench. Got a couple tables actually. So let's start off with, um, how do I want to do this? Let's do, there. Small. Oh, okay. Hold on. This is the individual one. Okay. There we go. And then we got a couple of coasters. So look nice and fancy. There we go. Now, let's take a look at this crafting room. That's the cellar. Oh, 40 silver. Yeah. We got ourselves some barley and water. This is your crafting room. Let's make porridge. Okay. Uh, porridge. I need fuel. Good thing I made that firewood. 
Okay, we can modify the recipe. Porridge requires grain. Hmm. Wait for your porridge to cook. It only takes a few seconds. Well, that's good. Ooh, we got the multi machine. Let's brew some beer. Well, okay then. Now we're talking. It's getting kind of late though. Uh, let's see. More fuel. I see a lot of tree chopping in my future. Malting takes a while. Reopen your tavern and serve the porridge while you wait. Well, we're actually going to let that go throughout the night. And we're going to head to bed. And save. Lovely. Well, we're going to go ahead and end the first episode here. If you enjoyed this, do hit the like button. Comment with any tips, tricks, or feedback that you have in the comment section below. I'm very curious what you guys are thinking, first thoughts about the game. I heard it gets a lot more, I don't want to say complicated, but more complex. There's a lot more stuff involved. Uh, the further along that you get, that you can expand your tavern, really decorate it, and make it look really nice. And then you got the whole staffing element too. So it's, uh, it's definitely a strategy time management game, which I really love. So if you guys enjoy, do let me know in the comments section below. Otherwise, I do plan on making this into a series. So do look forward to future episodes. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Thanks everyone for watching and have an awesome day. Mm -hmm.